Hello, my loves, and welcome to Miss T Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. We're reporting today on Grinile and Khrotman, whose real name is Temba. It seems like they've finally broken up, but I do not buy it. I will tell you why at the end I actually do not buy this. I think it's one of their stunts. She posted this early this morning. Please teach your daughters that following a man through hell is not love. Sticking by his side while he drags you through years of embarrassment and infidelity that makes you question your worth is not love. Abandoning your dignity and self-respect to keep the peace is not love. And learn that shit. No man that truly loves you would ever put himself in a position to lose you or to hurt you. Krotman posted this on his TikTok. Why is he only following one hand now? What happened to me? You guys should have warned me that it is impossible to date two women at the same time. I tried Shemai, Akuyen, Zeki. And you can see he's not following Trinile. He's only following four people. And he also removed her from his bio. Trinile also did the same. No longer. There's no longer fiance to Krotman in her bio. And she's also not following him. Something about me. We've been dating for five years now. Am I not covering your camera with what I'm mm -hmm. doing? Oh, okay. They want me to read calls. Read calls, read calls, done. It looks like they didn't sit down and discuss the script because clearly they're improvising. Uh, they're contradicting each other. This chick said they've been dating for five years now, Hortman is saying. Saying meeting you was in the biggest highlight of this year would be a total lie. You tick every box. I love loving you and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. So clearly, someone is not being honest. Someone is really not being honest. Now, going back to what I said in the beginning that I'm not buying this. So I was introduced to Zanile and Hortman, I think about a year ago uh, by my niece who was very much interested in their lifestyle and she wanted to join Forex. I was like, no, baby girl no these people are scammers please do not be like interested in this thing i'm not sure if I, I was able to win her over she's still interested but we're not there my thing is about a year ago they did this stunt where um they acted like they broken up the Zanile even deactivated her account and they were not posting each other and then boom one day there was this big reveal Zanile was back and she was pregnant and this thing was going on so i think this is also another way to try be relevant and to try get people talking about them because that's their business and if that's the case i shame it's working because now they are on every blog uh on twitter everyone is talking about them they are in people's lips if that was the strategy behind the whole thing then it's actually working how i pray that this is true for Zinile and for all of you shame to save your postcards for postcards to save herself and her dignity i really pray and wish this is true for her and her daughter but if it's not then who are we to say anything or judge now please do let me know down below if you think this is another stunt or you think Zinile has finally finally decided to choose herself um yeah, please do comment down below let's engage and if you're still here just know i love and appreciate you a lot and if this is the kind of content that you like please do not leave without giving this video a thumbs up as it helps a lot for youtube to suggest this video to other users and please do hit that subscription button as it will help me to build my community and engagement i'll see you all in my next upload thank you so much bye